Hello guys and gals, welcome to another episode of Chokester Plays FTB Unstable. Today we are up to episode 12 and we're going to be doing more blood magic. I have, I think, everything installed for what I need, or everything in my inventory for what I need. There is a zombie right there. Yeah, he's going to bother me. Alright, so we're going to make a few things. We're going to make some goodies. So the first thing I want to do is make an air sigil, water sigil, lava sigil, and probably sigil of the blood lamp. Each of these require this uh, arcane ashes and an alchemic, uh, alchemy array, but we've so far used our, our uh, what do they call these, wills, right? And But we need to get more sustainable. We need a tartaric gem. So let's look up the tartaric gem here. First tier is the petty one. We're going to need these four things in the Hellfire Forge, along with some will. That's why I got several of these right off the bat. So we want to put in, hold on, I forgot what that recipe was already. All right, so it's lapis, glass, redstone, and gold. So we'll put in that, that, and redstone. We just need two of these. And so remember, this was still left in there. We didn't actually use any up, but it will use some this time. And so we don't quite have enough. So I brought more. Let's grab the one with a lesser amount and we can grab this out. And so now we have one petty tartaric gem. I'm purposely making two. Uh, I think I'll need three total, but what we can do is we can actually, can I leave that in there? Yes, I can. So one of the things we can do is throw these on the ground and as they get picked up, you'll see this has zero will in it. Wait for that to come. There we go. And so now it actually put those inside of this petty tartaric gem. So we can make other things now with it. Uh, the first thing I need is a petty tartaric gem and an iron sword in here. Actually, you know what? I don't want that. I want to put this in here. And I'm going to throw that back on the ground and suck that up. It, it would have worked either way. It's just, you know, me being... Kind of OCD, I guess. So let's grab this back. We're going to throw this on the ground, pick that up, and that'll go in there. Now, the reason I have it dark is because if I use this sword and I kill mobs with it, it will actually add into here. So, got to be gentle with that guy since I don't have one, one hit anymore. Yeah, I knew it was going to blow up. I couldn't get away quick enough. That's right. Okay, so now we have up to 8.89. And so what, what we need to do is go around here and kill these guys. And this will continue to add into here up to 9.89. So it looks like zombies are giving us about one apiece. They're pretty much the safest. I mean, spiders aren't too bad either. And, and I believe they give a little bit more. But we can also enchant this sword, and it will do faster damage um, and, and help out with our killing. But I need to go around here and kill a few things and get some uh, a decent amount of will in here. We'll be automating this in the future, so um, we don't have to do too much killing. By hand, at least. All right. Missed him. And it's going to be painful with, uh, with an Enderman with this guy. Let's try a third time. Third time's a charm for this guy. Oh. I think I have this killer armor in here. Gentle. There we go. Finally got him. Whew. You know, this whole Minecraft thing, killing. It's tough stuff. Okay. So I'm not going to do... I'm going to kill him with my regular armor. I'm looking for those heads because we definitely need those. Any? Any? Nope. Okay. So... Let's go back up to our blood magic area, drop down here, and this is minimum 10. So we can make this one. So I two bucks of water and a sugar. Let me grab a sugar. Uh, where is my, here it is. And there it is. All right. Do that guy real quick. This, this, this. That was enough we can make. All right. Now you saw the arcane ashes. Let's do that again. All right. Put the water reagent down. Then we'll put a blank slide on. There we go. 
I don't know if I did something wrong. I wasn't really paying attention, so apologize for that. This guy's cranking along and running. It's all nice and full. Yep. Diamond hose going to need replacing soon, and I should have gotten my water sigil. This is really cool. So anywhere I need a water block, I can just right click and it puts that in. Now, I took a little bit of damage. I'll show you why. It's because I don't actually have any LP in my soul network. Uh, let's let's get the divination sigil. Remember, we clicked on here and showed the it shows what tier, how much current essence is in the altar. However. I have zero LP in my LP and I, or in my uh, personal network. So there's two different ones. There's one in the blood altar and there's one in our personal network. That's um, you know kind of in the cloud, if you will. So the way you get stuff in there is we can actually transfer it from the altar's blood, which we know we can put stuff in with the sacrificial damage dam <laughs> dagger. So I put this uh, orb in here and it starts flowing out into from the altar into our personal network. Oh, one thing I forgot is you have to right click and bind that to yourself. So if we look at it right now, it's it says nothing on here. Right click and now it says current owner chokes her. So put that in here and it starts filling up and Let's look at our personal network. You can see it's slowly filling up. And you can go in here, fill the altar back up, which then gets sucked into the orb, and it's slowly filling up. So I'll leave that in there for right now. Now when I go back over here and I put the water back down, you'll see that there's no damage. And it takes a little bit of um, LP. So there's 2,700 at another source block here. And... There's, well, it's filling up right now, so it's kind of hard to determine how much it uses, but it's it's minimal, minimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my blood network a little bit, uh, my personal network, and I'm also going to fill up my tartaric gem, which I left over in the uh, in this guy. So let me grab it, and I'll be back, and uh, we can do the next couple things. Okay, I have spent the night and killing. I upgraded to a lesser tartaric, filled that up. Actually, I spent a couple of nights and I also made myself another tartaric gem. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, you need another petty, uh, which is why I told you I think we need three. So let's create, and I've already created uh, the lava reagent. And let's put that down with a blank slate. In the meantime, I can put down this with a imbued slate. So that's going to bug out as well. You can do them together, I swear. I've done it many times before. So let's try this again. So the air reagent with an imbued slate. Well, maybe it is an imbued. Oh, you know what? It isn't. It's the this with the reinforced <laughs> that one. It keeps switching around in my inventory. All right, let's get this guy here. All right, so now we have the air sigil and the lava sigil. Let's show the lava sigil first. So this pulls from your um, from your local network and it creates lava blocks, which is really cool. So now we have a water sigil. We have a lava sigil. So those are really cool. Um, we have an air sigil. Let's check that one out. Now I know we have creative flight already, but let's say you didn't have it yet. The air sigil will allow you to get up in the air and, and get a move on. Couple this with the uh, the gliding. And yeah, that works out really nicely. So let's see, do I remember what my gliding key bind is? Let's see here, my dark steel armor glider is G. All right, so let's turn on gliding. Let's get in the air. And you see, I'm just gliding around. So it's uh, it's an early game of kind of flight, I guess. Um, now that does take from your LP and uh, your personal LP network. And let's take a look at what we are. We have 5,000 exactly. So let's let's take off. Gosh, I hate these eggs. Get out of here. So let's take off. Five, six, seven. I think that was roughly seven. Okay, that's interesting. Did not take any at all. And I don't have any blood. Oh, I do have a little bit of blood here. That's what it is. All right. 
So with this orb, this is the first tier, I have a maximum amount of 5,000 LP. So that's what's happening is there's a little blood in here. It can only fill up so much. We need to upgrade this in the future to get more. But as long as there's blood in here, I can I can go around infinitely with this air sigil and and, and visit wherever I want. Let's go visit over here. Woo -hoo. A town. Or I can just... Uh, use my teleportation wand, which I didn't have in my slot. <laughs> so, okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is in order to get my favorite one, which is the sigil of the blood lamp, we need to actually upgrade this to um, the next tier, which is the common. So we need to put one of these guys in here. We'll of course need this in here. We'll need a gold block and a diamond. And I believe it was a piece of redstone, but let me take a look. Tartaric common is, oh, an imbued slate. That's what I had the imbued slate for. All right, so we do this, and this gets our next tier. Now, what I didn't get a chance to show you before is what to do with this guy. Now, we're going to need this for, um, you know, other than the next tier, right? We'll upgrade this to a common. We'll do this all over again. I'll fill this up. But in the meantime, this guy, this new common one has nothing. But if we right click on the lesser, it'll empty it and put it all into here. So we can just leave this in here for right now. So now I have, I'll have to go fill this up because the next one I need, uh, let's see, we need sigil. This one here, the sigil of the blood lamp, requires an imbued slate and a blood lamp reagent. That's okay, but we need minimum 300. And so I have just, where is it? I have 206. So I'm going to grab that, go fill that up, be right back. One thing you can do is you can enchant your sentient sword with sharpness and looting. Looting is what really gives you a lot more will per hit. But sharpness, of course, makes it go a little faster. And I threw on breaking on there because it was starting to get uh, notice notably low. So I just used my enchanter. Real, real easy to do that. So now that we have over 300, we have 569. I'm going to throw these in here and then that in there. And then I just need one of those. And that will create our blood lamp. But I need an imbued slate. So let's grab that. Give me an imbued. All right, we need our ashes. Don't need that right now. There's that, the blood lamp, and imbued. There we go. Hey, I did it right this time. And I only had one creeper blow up on me while I was killing. <laughs> All right, cool. This is what I wanted. And you might have been saying, oh my God, those. The, Come on, fight. You might have been saying, oh, those torches are so ugly. Well, I can put these down and it will actually light things up. So that's one of that's why it's my favorite, is because it gets rid of these ugly torches and I can scatter them all around. And what I like to do is we'll we'll have a look at this, but I like to throw these all around. And now it lights up an area and I have less mobs spawning around here. And so you can just go through here and just spam the area and it lights it all up. Every time I go into the nether, there's always skeletons hanging around there. So we'll light all this up, make sure they're not anywhere around. And excellent. We now have lit up area. We'll see that when it gets dark. Okay. So the other thing I want to do is I talked about how we only have tier one in here. So let's get that out. Right click with an empty hand, and if we place a block of gold in here, and I'm probably going to need to make sure I have plenty of, oh, too quick. All right, quick, let's go back. I don't need this. I just missed it by one click. Oh, let's see. Oh, I can't get up there because I have nothing, but I can do that. Stupid me. All right, and so we're out. So that's going to reset all that. So let me get this out. We'll start all over. Come on, there we go. Okay, so, whew, what a mess, what a mess. Put those back on. All right, so let's try this again. Give me my sacrificial dagger. 
stop right there. I got excited. I got so excited. Okay, that's filling up. Um, the reason I need the need to be fairly aggressive is because I'm jumping a step, right? And the magician's orb takes twenty-five thousand. I've got ten thousand here. I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try to see if I can skip. Normally, what we do is the runes of capacity. Remember, we have those those um, uh, pretty much everything made to make the uh, runes. We've we, we just pick these back up and make the runes capacity. So I believe we're full. Looks pretty full. So let's try this. It's probably going to be an effort in futility, but we'll try. Yeah, it looks like it's going down pretty quick. Yep, we're, we're not going to be able to keep up with this. It's losing LP as, as we go on. But all right, let me... Uh, let me cut here okay we are going to make runes of capacity now so there's 16 and i need a missing stone and there's four more there's our 20 so we're going to go back over here and put these runes of capacity on here And this will allow us to have a greater amount of LP in our network so that we can get our next, well, technically we're skipping a tier of the blood room, uh, of the blood orbs. So let's see what we have now. Divination sigil. So now we have a capacity of 50,000 LP because the orb we want to get is the, okay, so here's the tier one. Here's the tier two, here's tier three. That's where we are right now. We haven't done this one yet. It's just a block of redstone in here. It only takes 5,000. We could have done that, but I'm skipping a level. I'm going right to the um, magician's blood orb, but it takes 25,000. I tried, I couldn't do I couldn't keep up with it. It was just sucking the uh, LP too fast. We only have a 10,000 capacity. So um, we're upgrading with the runes capacity and I'm going to fill this up and I'll be right back. And we have a full blood altar. So if I put my block of gold in here, you can watch, it goes down fairly quick, but that's gonna create our new blood orb. And I'll go ahead and keep filling this up because we're going to fill up our LP network. I'm not horribly low, I'm, you know, I got 3,500 left, but we definitely want a lot more in our, in our personal network. Um, if we create lava, like what's over there, right or water and stuff we just want to make sure we don't um, run out so grab this we bind it we put it right back in and now that's going to fill up our blood orb and that's going to put all 20 roughly 25,000 that was in here well pretty much exactly 25,000 into our personal network so you can see it's filling up quite quickly so that's a really great thing. I'm going to leave this in here. Uh, once we get to tier four, we're going to create a ritual that allows us to auto fill up this altar automatically. And a little spoiler here, I have been collecting every time I see a witch, this, uh, this one, every time I see a witch come out, I grab them in a soul vial. So I've got three witches. That's a little teaser as to what we're going to do next. Just finishing up my binding reagent. We get four of these and I've made some iron armor. So what we can do is we can, this is where the lightning comes in. So let me go inside and just show you guys what it's like with the lightning. So we'll put that down. We put this down and let's start with the, well, that shift click. Start with that first. See, perfectly safe indoors. We can start another one. Oops not what I wanted. Break that. Thank you. All right. I'll stop derping here in a second. And got that, which is good. There's that. We'll start another one. Pretty animations. Last one, the helmet, there's the boots. Now, what this does is, this is, you know, we have the dark 
armor. It's great. It's got triple jump. It's... Let's see if I can do that again. There we go. Triple jump. It's great. It's got all kinds of uh, capabilities on it. But what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to be to using these li the living armor from Blood Magic. And what this does is as we go through and do things in the world, it actually upgrades and we get better at things. Now, one of the first things we can do is we can go up here and we can start damaging ourselves. So let's do this a, a, a bit and we will uh, eventually get some upgrades. Uh, the two that we're probably going to get is you notice I'm healing right now thanks to my wonderful environmental uh, chamber. It, uh, it's, it's part healing. There's, there's an upgrade. And so now we have tough palms. The other one we get is the tough palms, which is uh, um, you, you take less damage. Um, soul powered is healing uh, when you're, I believe it's healing at night. Um, that's what that one is. There's little documentation on it, but you notice now we just got two more hearts. That's the one I want. I want this one that's called healthy. And because now all of a sudden I have two more hearts and that comes from healing. And so just sitting here, if you get this early on, and you notice I'm only at tier three, we can go up to tier five as of right now. There's a tier six, but it hasn't been implemented yet. Or it, I should say there's no recipes in order to get to it. So um, so we can't get to tier six quite yet. Uh, hopefully in the future we'll get that. But the uh, what what um, what we're doing now is, you know, I've, I've already made quite a bit of these. And you can see I filled up my Tartaric Gem, and so I have excess Demonic Well. But I've already got quite a few of these. But this is a really good thing to do early on. Looks like we got another one. We got Solar Powered Level 2. Uh, so this is going to now upgrade. And it gives us extra hearts. It, it gives us Step Assist, which we already have from the Sojourner Sash. So we don't care about that. It gives us faster running, higher jumping. So you notice I can, I, I'm already jumping fairly high for my Sojourner Sash. But the more I jump, the more I use Step Assist, um, it will actually add those on. So it looks like we got a healthy two. Now I get two more hearts. This is going to be great. You can get up to three rows of hearts, which is really cool. So this is called um, training armor or, you know, it's it's officially called living armor, but you can train things on it. And that's what's really cool about it. And you can get some really cool stuff. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and see if I can get some more healthy on here because it's one of the first things I want. So I'll be back after a little bit and see if we can increase this healthy up. Okay, as you can see, literally one minute has passed, and I've already gotten up to healthy level four, uh, solar powered level four, and tough palms. But you notice it says upgrade points 83 of 100. We're getting close to full. Um, I, I put my orb in here to drain this out because this was already full. Uh, as you can see, my personal network is up to 146,000. So we have a ton in there already. So all good. I don't want to do any more... Um, leveling of this armor yet until I find some mobs, which, you know, of course there are none out here right now. But what I can do is I'm going to try not to run, try not to do too much step assist so I don't get those. Um, I want to kill some chickens. Let's kill some chickens. I want to get fierce strike on here. And I don't know if that'll actually, I don't want to kill sheep because I'm using that for my wool around here. Let's see, there's another chicken over here. All right, here's a chicken. Oh, missed. Chickens, chickens. See if this will actually give it to me. And there's a sheep, two more chickens over here. And I'm not running, I'm not jumping, I'm not doing anything that will hopefully get some other skills. Now, in the future, we'll have the ability to to uh, take off all these enchants or these you know, skills, how, whatever you want to call them, these effects and abilities, and reassign them. We can, we can put on the ones we want, leave them off, and so on. But we need Tier 4 to do that, mostly because we need Master Rune, which is, let's see, the Master Ritual Stone is now it's a um, ritual stone of water plus obsidian and a magician's actually uh, you know what we could actually do that right now interesting ritual stone of earth air yeah so any ritual stone obsidian 
I could have sworn, yeah, this, I guess what I'm thinking of is the, we just need obsidian for this. The other ones, the regular ritual stones, yeah, they require reinforce. So it's not a big deal. We could actually do this. Um, but I think I'm going to hold off for right now because I'm going to enjoy this armor for just a little bit until we get uh, uh, a little bit further, maybe even, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide what we want to do here. So I just want to get this, uh, a few of these, you know, especially the Fierce Strike, because that helps increase the damage. One other thing I didn't mention is that if we look at this, um, it's nine attack damage. Let me go back over here to my Blood Magic. I'll grab, so you notice we had nine attack damage. If, what am I doing? This. If I pull this into my inventory, now it's, it's not quite, let's see here. Do I have to have this in my inventory? Yeah, interesting. It's supposed to increase. Um, earlier when I was killing, it had uh, 12 attack damage. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's just not updating. Um, yeah, not sure. Let's go over here and uh, kill something with it. Some more chickens. These are evil chickens, so we don't care about killing them. hate that Minecraft prioritizes grass over item or you know mobs that uh it's just so obnoxious yeah there we go okay so i don't think it was because of that i think it's just an update thing but you notice we're at 11 and a half attack damage because i have the more will you have in your tartaric gem the more damage this does the max i've ever seen is 12 and so when i was at 10 24 it was doing 12 so um that's pretty much the max it looks like we're getting some uh some sunset here so we're gonna hang out until the sun drops and we get some uh some mobs popping in should be a few seconds here we'll go over here the other thing is let me show you from up here i've lit up this whole area and you can kind of see how how it's kind of dark or if you look at the the map here you can see this whole area is all lit up and so that's because of my um my sigil of the blood lamp so that's really cool let me go down here and get this guy. Nice. Hi, bud. There you go. Two. It's up to two hits now, which is really nice. All right, some more mobs. There's one over there. Again, looking for that. Yeah, tough palms. Yeah, looking for the fierce strike is what I'm looking for. And that comes from fighting things. And this is going to play, I mean, you don't have to... There's a creeper, so we'll back him off. All right, two two hits are really nice because then you can take him out in one one go. You don't have to back up. Let's see here, a couple more guys. Really like it soon. There's a spider probably above me. No, he wasn't. He's down here somewhere. I hear you. Can't seem to find him. He's nestled in there somewhere. Let's go over here and kill these zombies. Hi, guys. All right, so the other thing is I made, uh, you know, we had some comments on uh, one of the earlier videos. There it is. Kill this guy. All right, so let's get back home. All right, nice and safe up here. Uh, we had some comments about uh, on, on one of the previous videos, and we talked about the Neon Zoo, and it's just not there in, in Reliquary. It's supposed to be, the, the, or they are. There's multiple ones that uh, essentially have the mobs ignore you when you create it. So I looked in the config file. I found something that talked about these guys here, these molten cores, the zombie hearts, the catalyzing glands, and you'll see that there's... There's a few things you can do with them. You know, there's, there's, uh, you know, the Tome of Alchestry is is a really cool one. Um, it allows you to double items, uh, so you can double Nether stars or double dragons' eggs and so on. Uh, but we don't see any of the Neon Zoos. So I made a change that I thought would help, and it doesn't seem to have helped. So uh, it's unfortunate for that. Okay, so. Now we got our Fierce Strike. See, we're at Fierce Strike level one. So what I can do is I can create a, a ritual. Um, so how that works, and we'll probably be doing this in a future episode, but we get one of these ritual diviners, and we pick the appropriate ritual. We build a ritual with 
one master ritual stone and multiple ritual regular ritual stones and it allows us to strip off all of these and then we can put back the ones we want and if we just want to train a specific one we use one of these training bracelets we combine what it strips off with one of these and it only focuses on that so then i could say all right if i just want you know see i got a quick feed in there as well um so if i want quick feed i want to be able to run around faster and i want um healthy of course we, we like the extra hearts and i uh, and fear strike i can focus on just those and leave all the rest of them off um, so that's really cool the there's another ritual you notice how i have 100 upgrade points that brings us up to 300. so that's um that's something we're going to do as well and that allows to take each of the levels much higher and that's how you get to the you know the three and four levels of of hearts so since we don't have tinkers tinkers doesn't include the uh heart canisters anymore Okay, um, I got a whole bunch of this stuff I'm gonna dump off here. Let me just do this first. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is I have, well, hold on, I gotta figure out where it is. I thought it was in here. Oh yeah, that's right. So I got one of these frozen cores. Um, it's it's actually kind of cool. You, uh, you build a pumpkin golem. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but this is fun. So we put them on there and it creates a little pumpkin. And the pumpkin walks around the the pumpkin golem, I should say, it's snow golem. Um, sorry, the uh, he walks around and he generates snow. And you can harvest this with uh, with a shovel. All right, and you get little snowballs out of them. All right, I should have snowballs. I don't see any snowballs, but maybe not. But uh, at least that's what the wiki says. But when I kill him, especially with something with fortune, you now get one of these frozen cores. If I were to take, uh, go back up here, an Eye of Ender, one of the Frozen Cores, one of the Nebulous Hearts, and one of the Molten Cores, I can do a Salamander's Eye from Reliquary. And what this does is this allows you to have, let me see if it actually talks about it in here. I don't think it, yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so all the flames that are coming near you, things like the gas firewall balls are repelled, um, blaze firewalls are doused, and uh, and of course they can still harm you if they're near you, but this is a really cool thing to keep in your inventory because now when we go to the nether, those things don't hurt us anymore. It's pretty cool. I don't think it actually sends like the gas uh, fire charges back at them, but uh, but they won't be hitting me anymore. So, and I also talked about uh, getting at some point in the, Pyroclast. At some point in the future, we're going to be getting the Pyroclast Pendant. It's just a Rune of Fire and a Rune of Summer. Rune of Summer being the Rune of Air and Rune of Earth. And a little melon. I, I created a watermelon over here early on when I found the seeds for this specific reason. So um, so that's something we'll be doing in, in a near future just to fill this slot out. And that gives us full fire protection. I can get rid of this full fire and I believe it does a pretty good job with lava um, protection as well. So we could either keep both of those, but I could also look at some other uh, rings. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for the episode. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for all your support. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much for all the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.